hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to create segment and apps in one signal using this Ladomore one signal laravel Brepal package this package written by me and in this first tutorial we covered installation steps and notification and devices APIs but uh, recently I add this apps and segment API support in this package so today we are going to learn how to use these APIs in this tutorial if you haven't seen this first tutorial you should watch it first let me explain why you should use this package here is official documentation given by one signal and uh, when you use these APIs you need to write bunch of line code in your application you can see here lots of line of code given in example and if you want to create the app you need to write the all this line of code and this package provide one line of code you can see here you can see here create app example you just need to write one line and need to pass fields want to add in your application so your code is neat and clean and you can easily integrate one signal in your laravel application so today we are going to take the example of apps api and create and delete segment api is not free you need to paid plan for this create and delete segment apis so let's create one apps here is a uh, some routes I created for example here is a uh, segment APIs delete and create you need to write one line one signal and you need to call create segment and delete segment method you need to specify here ID of this segment but this API only work if your plan is paid so we cannot test it because my plan is not paid so let's take the example of this for APIs create APIs retrieval apps create apps retrieval apps retry single apps and update the apps so let's take one example and try to create one application let's put this code here and just return right now I adding only one field app name if you want to add more fields then you can refer this official documentation all the field list given here and link also given in this readme documentation of this package so you can follow it here is all the fields listed so let's create the apps you can see here one application is created let's refresh the one signal dashboard so you can easily see it you can see a test by me application is created but in this API for apps you need to auth key you can see here 
not given auth key must be set in one signal dot php so let's open config file and need to set auth key and you need to set one signal auth key in environment file and you can see here I set the app ID one signal authorize and one signal authorize key and you can get the authorize key here you need to click on API's key and you can see here auth user auth key you need to copy this auth key and set into dot env file for using this for apis so app is created you can see here let's get this API so copy this app ID because we need to use this ID here and set it here let's try to check next API apps so you can get all the apps using this method so let's remove create method from the route I made something wrong let's check from the documentation I write wrong method here we need to specify get apps let's get all the ap applications of the one signal you can see here the list of all the applications let's take next method get apps this method provide a single application if you want the default application which is set in dot in env file that time you no need to pass here application id you can get default but if you want to get details of other application that time you need to specify here application id as a argument so you can easily get the details of apps so let's try and you can see name of the test by me and all the details of application and next one is update application so let's take the documentation and update the application the first field is fields test by me let me update the name update by me and the second parameter is uh, id id is a optional field if you want to update the default application then you no need to pass id id is optional but if you want to update the another application then you need to specify id here 
and you need to update so let's fire this route in the project and you can see here application is updated let me check the dashboard of the one signal and you can see here name of the application now update by me so this package is very useful please use it thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel feel free to ask any question in comment box please like share a video thank you